Burman Cat vs Persian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Burman has a silky, medium-length coat in the pointed pattern of the Siamese, meaning that the color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail, a broad, rounded head topped with medium-sized ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Burman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. On the front and back paws are white gloves ending in an even line across the paw. On the back paws, the gloves extend up the back of the leg, called laces, and end in a point or an inverted V-shape. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces is an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Besides seal point, Burmans come in blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, and various party color point and lynx point colors. Lynx point Burmans have a clearly defined M marking on the forehead, light markings that resemble eyeglasses around the eyes, spotted whisker pads, solid colored ears with no stripes, and thumb marks on the back of the ears. The legs and tail have stripes and rings. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Persian's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A long, thick, shiny coat with a fine texture completes the Persian's look. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. Persians of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate, and lilac, plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver or golden and blue chinchilla and blue shaded silver or golden, and then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. That's not counting the various pointed patterns of the Himalayan. Eye color is related to coat color. White Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, other solid colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. If you like the pointed pattern of the Siamese but not the Yali voice, a Burman might be the cat for you. He is a docile, quiet cat who loves people and will follow them from room to room. Expect the Burman to want to be involved in what you're doing, and be grateful that he's not as bossy as the Siamese. Docile doesn't mean dumb. The Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally, maybe on purpose, go for a ride on top of a car. It's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in your arms like a furry baby. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant, and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. 
This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. She is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under-eye stains from forming. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50-50 to -50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the Berman's litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Berman is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Persians aren't the best choice for a houseful of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attention or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.